so the new year is coming and people are going to celebrate it obviously not the traditional way by praying making rangoli at home lighting a diya hoping that new year will bring peace and prosperity but rather we'll celebrate western way by boozing under darkness with high decibel senseless music and lots of fireworks obviously these fireworks will not harm environment instead it will produce oxygen of purest form there are many things wrong in this country but before moving to the new year can we make one thing correct what is it is it 2022 we are entering or 2079 This is a tweet done by Prasar Bharti on 27th of December 2021 but look closely there's something else written over there Vikram Samvat 2078 what is it Vikram Samvat 2078 is a Hindu new year it started on April 13 2021 Vikram Samvat is the first day of the Hindu month of Chaitra every new year The new year of the Hindu calendar starts from Chaitra Shukla Pratipada Tithi. According to the Gregorian calendar or English calendar, this day falls in months of March or April. Samvat is the short form for Samvatsara, which is a Sanskrit term for year. Two commonly used Hindu calendars in India are Saka Samvat and Vikram Samvat. Saka Samvat started by King Kanishka in 78 AD. and vikram samvat started in 57 bce by king vikramaditya hence the name vikram samvat saka samvat is the national calendar of india while vikram samvat is 56 years ahead of the gregorian calendar hence year 2022 in gregorian calendar will be 2079 in vikram samvat both the hindu calendar has got same number of month with same name Both starts with Chaitra followed by Vaishakh, Jyestha, Asad, Shravan, Bhadrapada, Ashwina, Kartik, Margasirsa, Paus, Magh and ends at Phagun. Each month in both Hindu calendar is divided into 15 days as Krishna Paksh the dark half and Shukla Paksh the light half. The 15 days of Krishna Paksh is called Amavas and another 15 days of Shukla Paksh is called purnima the difference between these two calendar is at the beginning of the month in vikram sambat new month starts with krishna paksh which is after the full moon whereas in saka sambat the new month starts with shukla paksh which comes after the new moon that is why there is a difference in dates of the beginning of these sambat pratipada the first day of the shukla paksh of chaitra in the saka sambat is the first date of the month while it is 16th day of vikram samvat so an example of date in vikram samvat would be ekadashi shukla paksh kartik mas vikram samvat 2057 this means 11th day of the fourth night of waxing moon the month of kartik year 2057 of the vikram era the gregorian calendar is based on solar cycle while the hindu calendars are based on moon cycle hence the 12 months move according to the moon and the year is 354 days long however every third year 33 days are added by creating one extra lunar month of 29 days the birth of new year is a whole new beginning and marks the time when the world awakens from its wintry slumber so almost all the hindu new year festivals falls at the beginning of the spring months when nature turns bountiful and blesses the earth 
with fruitful greenery the beautiful flowers that bloom in spring the early bird songs the fresh harvests which are the fruits of past labor and the commencement of new agricultural cycle all these symbolize the dawn of another year